into a little conversation that I want you to have with yourself. And what that conversation is, is do you understand and really know that it's true that you and I all live with lots of limitations? And you can pretend and you can say that you don't, but I guarantee you, you do. I do not care how big your bank account is because your money in your bank is ultimately your limitation because you can get comfortable with how much you have. And a lot of people don't understand that, that what they do is as even they're making money and they may have their children, their family, their big life, big house, traveling all over the place, that literally can become your limitation because as soon as you experience life, when it taps you on the shoulder and you turn around and it's the world, and it's saying, I've come in unexpected to interrupt what you're doing. Most people don't know how to recover from things like that. What they try to do is they begin to try to recreate whatever they did in the past and they try to import it into their future. Well, guess what? That doesn't work. Life doesn't care about your template nor your model. But then there are people sitting up here who are struggling maybe to make ends meet. And you feel that limitation. Maybe it's where you grew up, where you came from. I can tell you right now, I grew up where in my house, saltines and sardines were fancy dinner. I grew up in a place that I would not recommend anyone to grow up. And that literally was the way I began my life and my journey. Equally so, I had friends that I went to school with that lived on the other side of it where they had everything right there and they still ran into the same limitations that I did. So there are two types of limitations. I wanted to tell, I'm gonna tell you what they are. They're the ones you can control, which are yourselves, your, yourself, self-imposed limitations, which we all do, right? How many of you put one on yourself? You ever limit yourself, right? And don't just go into limiting beliefs, right? I'm not a trendy, I'm not this trendy guy. I'm a person that believes if you put corn in the ground, guess what you get? Corn. Corn. All right? That's me. I want to be that simple. I believe in shelf life stuff. I believe that if you want to be great in your life, if you want to have great finances, you only have 10 numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's figuring out how to use them. Add them, subtract them, multiply them, and divide them. Correct? Is that true? That's it. We're trying to look for all this fancy, complicated stuff when we don't need that. That's one of our limitations. Most of our self-limiting beliefs come from, as someone said, limiting beliefs before, comes from the simple fact that we overcomplicate pretty much everything, right? That's what we're doing. Or the world shows up and stops us. So I wanna start with a couple of things that I'll walk you, walk you through to help you understand that you truly can have freedom beyond your limitation. Now, before I get too deep into it, I have self-diagnosed ADD, okay? I rabbit trail often, but I always find my way back. I promise you I will tie everything back where it needs to be. If I see something, I will say something, okay? It's just one of the, see like Ted's laughing right now? There's 20 things that just went through my mind right now about Ted laughing, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna keep myself on track here, and I just wanna walk you through a few key things to help you because every one of us here needs to understand one thing, just as I talked about corn going in the ground and you get corn, the one thing, no one here is more privileged than the other. I don't care what color you are, I don't care who your mother is, I don't care who your father is, I don't care what you think you know, I don't care if you have alpha bit suit behind your name doesn't matter to me because pressure is all of our privilege when I squeeze the seed that's when I get the essence and if you kill a seed you kill a potential forest and that's what matters to me I'm a people person I don't care where you come from I don't care what you think I want to know what you're gonna do and who you're gonna be when you get there I want to see you become more than you've become I want you to say that today is not the only day. I want you to understand that tomorrow is only going to use what you do today. So if you want to know what tool tomorrow is using, it's today. What did you do today? What did you say today? How did you work today? What was your attitude today? Attitude is everything. Think about it. That's the way we need to be. You want freedom beyond limitation because I promise you, whether you admit it or not, you all, just like me, are walking with limitation. I wanna be free. Look at someone that's next to him and say, I'm free. I'm concerned about you. Okay, all right? So, so that I can keep myself, remember I told you I had focus ADD, and I know how I am, and knowing that they told me I could only talk for two and a half hours. 
I wrote down just a few things that I want to make clear to you. And they're just my little, you know, they're little points. And what I wanted to say to you earlier is that everybody here, if you go to my Instagram, I'm not selling you anything. Go to my Instagram at Tim Pecoraro. You click on my bio link, you'll see something that says GVL Hustle Attendees. I'm literally putting where, what I'm taking out tonight, these key points, I'm making a course that I work with organizations, big companies, nonprofits, and individuals where I walk them through this framework to help them learn how to create lift for their life. Not just do a good job at work, but really unlock people to go to another level. And you all get it for free. So if you click on that, go to my little thing, you'll be able to have access to it for free. No selling, no more emails beyond that. I just wanna get that out of the way now so I can get to the good stuff. So there's a thing called CIA. Who knows what the CIA is? What's CIA, Matt? No. <laughs> no. It means control, influence, and acceptance. Most people don't have the freedom because they don't know how to ask themselves questions. They're what questions, not why. You ever see someone, why'd you do that? Why'd you say that? Why are they looking at me like this? Why, why, why? Why puts people on the defensive? Why makes people wanna fight? Why makes people argue? Why makes people turn into victims? Why me? Now I'm gonna share something that, I got my son here right now, he's never heard. I was sexually abused as a child. I was violent, I dealt with a violent household. From someone I trusted, this happened to me. But I, you would never know that because I don't live according to those things. I could not control that. What can I control? Anybody help me? What can I control? Me. Could I influence that? No. What can I influence? What I do. And then acceptance doesn't mean that I can't move on. Acceptance means that I learn to say that this is where I am, this is the condition, but yet all things are subject to change. So when you really want to find out what your freedom looks like beyond the limitation, it's important for you to employ what I call the CIA. So when you're dealing with a situation, things aren't working in your life, things don't work for you, CIA it. Am I in control of this? What can I control? Well, let me move to the next thing. Do I have any influence over this? What can I influence? Oh, can't do that. What can I do to accept this now? Start on myself, that's the best place to begin always to start with you. That's a big problem because we all have our own human needs. We have certainty, variety. We have significance, love and connection, growth, contribution. But your map, my map, guess what? They're not the same. That's why a lot of the conflict that we experience, someone comes up, they want to do something, and you're saying, no, I don't want to do it this way. They're saying, yes, this is the way I want to do it, but no, this is too many things, and they're saying, no, it's not too many things. You're just stuck on just being so minimal. You're small-minded. You're too, you're too out of control, and you're too reckless. No, that's your maps. That's your problem. That's their problem. And there you become stuck in this limitation that we can't move forward because I have to be in control. I have to have influence, and I'm not going to accept the way that you would like to do this. I know a man who has a wonderful family. He makes a lot of money. He speaks all over the country. Unbelievable communicator. Talks to, I mean, I mean, pretty much everybody. Doesn't matter what age they are, kids. Like, I see him move youth like you wouldn't believe. I mean, it's unbelievable. What would you say his life is then? Me telling you about this guy. Seems pretty good, right? I mean, pretty good life. Well, if you, if I were to step off the stage and he were going to talk to you tonight, someone would have to open the elevator, push him in here, pick him up by his torso, set him right here, and when he talked to you, he would scoot across the stage. His name is Nick Vojacic. An amazing man. The first time I ever saw him speak, my head almost exploded because I thought I was looking at a 3D model or some sort of animation. The man proudly shows pictures of his children and he'll tell you that he did the work. <laughs> it's his work. And instead of looking at what he didn't have, this moves into CIA. After you do your CIA, you need to start asking the right questions that move your mind into a positive way of thinking. 
Nick didn't think about what he didn't have. Guess where he started? What he did have. Most of our problems come from the fact that we ask the wrong questions to ourselves. You know the quality of your answer is determined by the quality of your what? Question. You ever feel like you have to ask people over and over and over and over again to finally get an answer? Maybe instead of you getting mad at their answer, why don't you ask better questions? Instead of the frustration that you're feeling and you're carrying within yourself, what would happen if you stopped yourself with your why questions and can I and will this ever change and will this happen? Why don't you start with what am I going to do with change? What am I going to do to change? What do I know about myself? What do I have near me? What do I have in my possession? What are my capabilities? Instead of why do they get this, why don't you get to what do I want? You know, Simon Sinek wrote a great book. Everybody loves to talk about, once again, I'm not a trendy guy. Everybody talks about the trends, and I love Simon's stuff. The problem is, is everybody wants the trend, but nobody wants to do the work. And what we want is the convenience and the comfort and all those things. And we want to look at the, every, what everyone else is having, and then we want to try to do it. I look at Ryan. Ryan's, you're good looking, bro. <laughs> so sexy. <laughs> Sorry, squirrel. Actually, Ryan. <laughs> but I could look at Ryan's world and say that I want all those things, but because it, and then for me, I start making stupid, drastic, desperate decisions. And I'm not living me because I'm not asking the what question. What is it that he's doing? Instead of me going, you know, why Ryan coming over? Hey, Jess, you know, Ryan, this, Ryan, he thinks he's Ryan, right? What if I walked over and said, Ryan, what are you doing? What are you doing, man, in your life? You really want to know something? Stop talking about people and having sidebar conversations. Walk over to them, ask them what they're doing and say, I want to learn that. Be honest. Look, I mean, really, be honest. Look inside yourself. When's the last time you walked over to someone and said, tell me how you're doing that? What sets you apart? I want that. When's the last time you did it? Most of us are afraid. So then what we do is we start making decisions with FOMO. What is FOMO? Oh, can I tell you my new FOMO? It's called fate owns my outcome. When you live by FOMO, fate owns you and your outcome. Try that one. Post that. Hashtag new FOMO. Fate owns my outcome. Luck, chance, because that's what you're doing. You're trying to, listen, empathy is a vicarious thing, but you living someone else's life is not the one you want. So if you're going to do anything vicariously, do it with empathy, do empathy, but don't try to be Ryan. Don't try to be my man, Charles over there, who is actually pool ready <laughs> inside joke, right? Too many people are trying to be other people. Put your own skin on, wear it, own it. This is what drives me crazy. When I walk in, I work with companies and they're like, fix this person, fix this person, and can you change that person? I turn to them and say, can we work on you first? You go first. You want something from someone else? You go first. You want things to change? You change. You work on you and get out of your limitation. You know why you're wanting them to change? Because you have a limited mindset. That's why you want them to change. You're so narrow-minded. I'm narrow-minded, it's what I do. When I want my son to change, my wife to change, my friend to change, my neighbor, it's because I'm limiting myself. I need them to change so I can feel better about myself. Let me tell you right now, if you fail to go within, you will definitely go without. Fate, listen, fate is going to rule your life. And I don't care, once again, the world is gonna tap you on the shoulder. You will run into a limitation. And let me tell you, that limitation is necessary for you to build what you need in order to move forward. And let me tell you why, because what did I say early? What did I tell you about pressure? Pressure is what? Anybody remember? Pressure is my privilege. Look at your neighbor and say, you need that pressure. Tell him. Nobody wants to be squeezed. No, think about it. Who really enjoys getting pressed in? Who likes feeling like the weight of everything is on you? Who likes that? Anybody? Nobody. But who grows without it? And I'm going to go ahead and come back to something. The reason most people aren't free is because you're pursuing success. 
And I'm gonna tell you right now, success means nothing if you don't have significance. There are too many people that get success, but they're still insignificant in themselves. They don't feel one of the six core human needs, which is significance, which is worthy of love. They can have money in the bank, but they don't feel worthy of love. They feel like they have to do things for other people. It's all appearances, it's smoking mirrors. So if you really want to understand, once again, what freedom beyond limitation is, is move towards significance. So I said CIA. I'm telling you about pressure being your privilege. I'm telling you about understanding that you need yourself to move into this place where I can literally say, this is me, this is my life, this is who I am, and now, what are my questions? What do I have? What do I know? I promise you, if you start with that, the next time something happens, stop and say, what do I have? What do I know? Your mind will flip a gear and it'll move from ruminating on a negative that's telling you this story that will move you over to the fear of missing out that ultimately will be the fear or, or that fate owns my outcome. It'll move you into a positive place that begins to think, I know Ted. Hmm, I have a relationship with Ted. I could walk over to Ted or I can call him tonight. You know what? I could actually be transparent and I could actually open myself up to Ted. I could actually share with him that what he's been seeing is not really what it is. And once again, who is that, my friend? Was it Hope? What did you say about transparency that you're supposed to post up there? Transparency makes people uncomfortable. How many of you want to be transparent right now? <laughs> well, we got one hand, but people don't line up for that, right? Do you understand that? You ever see we have fastest growing businesses? When's the last time you saw a magazine cover that said fastest growing people? Isn't that crazy? We're more concerned about the bottom line than the rear end people are, that are getting kicked by people. I mean, it's really rough. We need to see people getting developed, people growing, people improving, people feeling value, people understanding that they're more than they're becoming. Now, I'm not gonna keep going on this. There's a couple key more things I wanna say to you is this. 99.9% .9 of you and I are exactly the same. It's called human being, right? 0.1%, guess what? It's how DNA works. If you commit a crime, guarantee you today, guess what? They're gonna find you. Your fingerprint is your touch, means you've been there. Your blood, your body, fluids, things like that, that means it's you. See, your touch, too many of us are trying to live our life with trust. That's a touch, that's a limitation. Look what I can do. Hey Jess, I can do this. Yay me, look at what I can do. Do you see this? And yeah, I'm trying and I'm performing and I'm performing and I'm performing. Jess should ask me, Tim, where's your essence? In other words, where there's a DNA? Where's the 0.1% unmistakable thing that can only be assigned to you? See, what I want to do is speak to people like yourselves because I believe that 0.1% that makes you so different that the police would even use to prove that you did not commit a crime or you did, I believe that's the unmistakable person. I believe that that's what makes another person be able to get six figures in their life, a million in their life, for a person to be able to say, I was born with no legs and no arms, but I still have a mouth because I'm unmistakable and nobody can take that voice from me. Why? Because my CIA tells me I'm in control and this is what I can do with my influence. I can accept no limbs, but I will not live a life that accepts not being able to speak. What can you do? What can you work on? What can you develop? Can I tell you something? You're pretty enough. You're gorgeous enough. You're smart enough. Let all that other stuff go. Who are you trying to impress? Most of the time it's ourselves. And can I tell you something? The world doesn't care about that. Here's how I'm gonna close up. I don't want anyone here to die a thief. I'm working on a book that one day I'll eventually finish. And it's called The Space Between the Dates. And literally you go to a graveyard and you see a born and a died. But everything in the middle is what matters. Can I tell you the tragedy of the graveyard is in that ground is not just a shell that's no longer with a life because I believe that life moves on to the God that created the human. That's my belief. 
But can I tell you what the grave does hold? It, grave holds, it holds your book, your song, your words, the things you didn't do, the things you wouldn't admit, the things you wouldn't try. So don't die a thief. And I don't want you to think about dying. I want you to think about living and every day dying to what you're allowing to be the limitation that holds you back. Get better at growing yourself. Stop putting the responsibility on other people to change. Stop wanting to come home and want people to be the way you want them to be so that your world will be happy. And can I tell you about happiness? Happiness, throw it off this building. Forget happiness, happiness is temporary. I give you all a thousand bucks, you'll be happy. But in two weeks, what will you be? Let me tell you what joy is. Joy lasts. Joy is a collection of all happiness. Joy is like every one of these put together so that we can walk and have a pathway to some place. That's what joy is. It's foundational. So get your happy moments, but make sure you're putting them somewhere that you're going. Make something you can step on. Stop chasing after whatever comes your way and saying, look, it worked. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. Get clear, make yourself first and you're growing. Give somebody something to be able to say is real and valuable. And I don't care if you have much, you're limited eventually. And I don't care if you have little, you're in a great place to start. I want you to understand this, you're more than you've become. And what you think you are, you're not done. And don't be the best, be better. And most importantly, if I could say anything to you, is this world is waiting for you to stop being a chameleon and taking color from it and put some color back into it. Just like that building that's being built, it will be finished. The world wants your color in whatever amount you're willing to give it. Just do it. Thanks.